Okay, we have our painting here. Here you go, ready to go. Now, what have I done? I have painted the edges black. I varnished it. And as far as putting a wire on it, I should do that, but I don't normally do that. The reason why is that because this is one and a half inch thick, I'm a uh, firm believer of just hanging it right up on the wire, like hanging it on a nail just like this. So I'm not going to do that. Okay, what else do I have to do with this? Well, I think we should sign the back of it. I always sign the back, so let me put my signature right there. Yeah, I'll put it right up there for you. There you go, folks. Ah, that wasn't good. <laughs> Excuse me, folks. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Ah, okay. I didn't even have a drink. <laughs> okay. Taylor, there you go. There you go. That's got to be worth something. <laughs> Maybe to the divorce lawyer, right? Okay. That's what we do. Now, where else do we sign it? Well, I'm going to sign it right here on the edge. Now, I could, if I wanted to, sign it here in the corner. But, nah, I think I'm going to put my signature right here on the edge. This way it's out of the way and it does not detract from the painting. Now, I have my painting marker, which you can buy at Walmart or uh, Hobby Lobby or Michaels or any of the stores. But I like using that. Let's see if I can get this off without dropping it. Okay, there you go. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Ooh. Hmm. Got to get it going. You got to push down on the tip a little bit. There you go. I'm not, I'm running into bad luck today, huh? Okay. There you go. See how nice that looks? On the edge, and it does not take away from the painting. Of course, you want to cap her back up. Okay. There you go. Okay, I put the uh, cardboard corners on three of the corners of the painting. Now, what I'm going to show you is how to assemble a corner. Okay, first of all, get out your pen, folks. Here's the number to, for this product. It's S12246, and it's from Uline, that's U-L-I-N-E dot com. And that's the product number. Now, you get 400 of them for roughly, oh, maybe about $35, I think it is. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's all it is. That'll be, that'll, uh, that'll do four, that'll do 100 paintings. You figure it's going to cost you about 35 cents a painting, which is a good deal to protect the corners. Okay, now, how do we fold this? You turn it over, and that's one end, and you're going to fold it here, and you're going to fold it here, and pop it. Now, this is only good for about one inch, so we got to squeeze an extra half inch into this. So what you usually do is just like bend them out a little bit, just make a little extra space. Okay, let's put this guy on the painting. Okay. Just like that. And that's the way it goes. Just like that. Okay, is it finished? No. Got to do one thing. Let me pop this down. Throw this up. We're going to put one of these on. Remember I told you there's going to be a third one. Let's peel this guy off. get it this way here okay and we're going to pop it right on the corner you can see how nice that looks there you go and that finishes it off there you go we got all the corners covered next I'm going to show you how to wrap it Okay, the first thing we want to do is roll out our paper. Turn the painting over. 
And we've got the COA. That goes right here in the back of the painting. Just like that. No fancy stuff here, folks. Not a wrap. You just center it. Fold it down like this. Bend this over like this. Roll it over one time like this. We got it. We cut it. Like that. Oops. Get a little tape going. One, two, three. You get the idea. First, I'm going to take that down just a little bit better. And I'm going to finish this up. I don't think you need to watch all of it, but you get the idea, and I'll show it to you when I'm finished. Okay, the painting is all wrapped up and ready to go. What we're going to do is we're going to take this painting and we're going to put it in a box. Now this box I had to cut down in order to fit because you don't want it too big. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to get it in the center of the box with about maybe an inch or so cushioning all the way around it. This will protect it. But if you'll notice too, notice that at the top I have some maybe about an inch or so. So the paint will be completely protected with the corners and with the paper all the way around it. We should be good to go. I've never, ever had uh, a damaged painting yet. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get paper on both sides of this to hold it straight up. We're going to put paper all the way around it to hold it, and then we're going to add peanuts afterwards. The reason why you want to do that is peanuts are really expensive. So by adding the paper, it only it not only protects the painting, but it also steadies the painting. So it'll stay straight in the box with the cushion around. Then you add the peanuts around it. So let's just do that. Okay, folks, nothing state-of-the-art here. What I'm doing is I'm going to put paper to hold uh, the painting straight up. So I'm going to put painting on both sides. All the way down. And you can see by doing that, you see it's holding it in the middle more. This is what we want to achieve. We can add, keep adding more and more paper all the way around it until we cushion it, and then we're going to add the remaining. We're going to fill the remaining area with the peanuts. Okay, I guess you can see here what we've done. I've got the paper all the way around. Now we're going to add the peanuts. By doing this, you're not using as many peanuts because peanuts are very expensive. The paper's the least expensive, but it's going to do just as good a job. And by adding the peanuts, you're still getting the benefit of the uh, protection. Okay, let me do that. Okay, here we go. It's not an easy job to do this. Okay, now what you do is you give it a couple of these, spread it around, and you can see looks good. And the painting is well protected because the peanuts went down and filled up all the area where the paper, uh, the paper didn't. So now we've got a good uh, solid box and now I'm going to fold it up, tape it up and get, get ready to ship it.